was praying. Are you still that man? Are you still that guy, Gabriel? The one who can pray for your enemy? The man of God? We've got our answer. Is not. He is already begging. Be patient. Really, I think that it's going to take an entire season for her to accept that he's a part of the group. Not to forgive him, not to be friends with him and all. Just to accept his presence. We need to walk faster. Then please don't die. Yeah. A warning. But for there it's more than that. Oh. Oh. She is! I swear she is! I can feel it into my heart. Our logic. I'm not gonna blame her for that. Just know that me, I believe. <laughs> Connie is still alive. Show it. She has to be. What? Carol? Because you know when they entered these horses, they were representing other of these persons. To kill one, it's to kill up in a way. Do you understand what I mean? The meaning behind that? You've eaten You're a family, you love each other, even if you don't believe on the same thing. It's right for the three of them, it's right also for Aaron and Carol, what they are saying to each other. It's a message of these scenes. Hmm. It's a church? You know each other that well? Don't give up. You and both of you don't give up on him. No. No. You have 
kid to raise. I'm not even sure that the supplies are still there, you know. I'm giving him things to survive. I'm dead, so very please. I said it for me, I'm dead. This generation, you know, they represent the future. For me, it's important because I'm dead. And are we seeing stuff closer than how I see stuff, you know? trailers for episodes I want to be surprised by everything no promotional pictures no trailers I said during this intro that I was gonna search for a tissue because I was beginning to be sick but that I was not gonna use it during this episode because I didn't plan to cry today. I said that after saying that during each episode we were gonna lose someone, secondary characters and little by little more important characters. It didn't die, okay? It didn't die. Call me in fucking denial, I don't care, it didn't die. You know my rule? Eyes closed, body count. If I don't see that, the person is not dead. And Alvin right there is not dead. And they are making promises to each other. The Walking Dead, they are not afraid of killing people, you know, directly to let us see it. So if you are not seeing it, they are not dead. That's why also I don't think that Connie is dead. <laughs> I know. I, really, I know. During all of the end of the last season, it was a running gag almost between us, me, screaming at a no context moment, you know, where is Connie? <laughs> like, they forgot about her, they were not talking about her, no one was thinking of her, but me, I was still thinking of her and Suddenly, I was screaming her name like, come on, we need to find her. I chose to stop that running gag and just to let me be surprised by the moment when we're gonna see her back. Like suddenly, you know, Connie coming on screen. I'm gonna love that when it's gonna happen. But yes, I, I didn't want, you know, to continue that running gag and all. But right there, them talking about her, we didn't see her dead. Eyes closed body count. 
So she's not dead. I then is not dead, is not gonna die. I choose to believe, okay? That's who I am. <laughs> I choose to believe. Because that's my role, but also because I know this show and I know that they are respecting that role. But for sure, I had during this episode the confirmation of what I told you during the intro. They're not gonna be afraid of killing people during this season. Right there, Maggie lost two of her people. That was sad, but mostly because of Maggie. You know, this person... Okay, Duncan, we saw a little of him, you know, how he was with Herschel. But we were appreciating them because of Maggie, because of Herschel, because we love these two. So we were appreciating two people that they loved. So I didn't cry for them and I was sad a little for them but even more for Maggie for what it meant for Maggie is the fact that she lost two of her people the people that survived what happened to her group and were representing her group what she lived with them all of that moment of her life so I was sad for her mostly during this moment all of the part with Maggie, Negan and Alden and these two persons were interesting because it was showing that they were gonna do everything, anything for these supplies. Which is bad because my theory about these supplies, I think that they already disappeared, that they were already taken by someone else, another group, maybe Maggie's enemies or maybe also the Commonwealth. I think that these supplies, they are not there anymore and they are doing all of that for nothing. That's my theory. I wish that I'm wrong, but I don't think so. <laughs> it's really the main thing about, at least the beginning of this season, they have to survive. They have to rebuild this place. They have to get supplies for people. And that's why, you know, that story with Carol, the girls getting the horses and all was also interesting. Because we saw that Carol did all of that to get the horses okay because it meant that they can use these horses to do stuff and all but also to have food because they need food and that's why Maggie is doing all of that with Negan and all. You know these two stories maybe they seemed like they were not connected and one was more interesting because it was more action moments, action scenes and all but in fact both of these scenes both of these stories were going on the same direction. We need supplies, we need food to survive. This horse moment, you know, it's death, was rough because really during all of the episodes they were representing the future, they were representing up to survive for the future to be better and all because we can use them because also they want to get back on and reforming the group, the life how it was before the attacks and all so to have them back it was for all of these people representing a certain hope that's it, they are back, we're gonna use them, we're gonna do stuff with them and all so to kill one it was showing you know that okay we are rebuilding this place we can rebuild it, we can do fortifications okay we can bring the horses back to have the life coming back into that place we can maybe keep that place and not move to another place okay we can try but there is an emergency and killing that horse is representing that emergency it was sad because of what it meant for the moment killing something which is representing up but also for what it means for the future it's not enough we need more we need the supplies that Maggie and Negan are searching for Gabrielle also, the moment with Gabrielle, it was short during the, the episode, but it was interesting because I said it during this moment, it was Gabrielle being confronted to who he is now and who he was before. Before, he was a man of God, he was someone who could pray for his enemies, he was not forgiving them for what they did, but he was giving them a relief, you know, before death. I'm sure that you understand what I'm saying right there. And Gabriel, not doing it, but also what he said during that moment, is not who he was before. 
is maybe still a man of God, but he's not gonna pray for his enemies. And you know, it's making me think about that episode that we had with Aaron and Gabriel during the bonus episode. I already said it at the end of this episode. This bonus episode, it was to show us the differences between Aaron and Gabriel. They both want to survive, they both want the group to survive, but they don't have the same limits and they don't have the same principles, ideas to get to it. And right there, we are seeing it also. Gabriel, he went outside to get the supplies. He killed that guy, showing that he's not who he was before, showing that he's not gonna show any mercy and all. When Aaron, is focused on rebuilding the place, protecting the place. It's really like being in an attack mode and being in a defensive mode. I think that it's important. I think that maybe it's gonna be an issue at some point, a conflict, you know, between them, but also between our guys, you know, creating different groups. We'll see. Oh, I cried during this episode. <laughs> this season really we are finishing with Maggie and Negan only together and they're not gonna kill each other but for sure we're gonna have some tension moments during the next episode their discussions during this episode were a little different than the ones that they had before maybe because of the last episode when they worked together like that to survive to fight the deaths they know that they are both fighting for the same thing, do stuff for the group, to, for them to survive. Negan is okay to obey to Maggie, still now, even if there are only three of us right there, he was ready to obey to her, to respect her for that, her role as a leader. He's okay, you know, to obey, but he's not gonna shut his mouth, it's Negan. He's gonna say what he thinks, he's gonna say also what he thinks which is right, what he thinks that they have to do. I think that Maggie, she needs that also. I'm not okay with what she told him, you know, the fact that he's lying to himself by thinking that he's a part of this group. He's not. He's a part of this group. He's not their friend, someone that they trust, but he's a part of this group. It did its job, you know, to be a part of this group. Again, it doesn't mean that they want to spend time with him, to have fun with him, to, to have him as a friend, not at all. But I think that they respect his opinion in a weird way. <laughs> oh, I was not expecting an episode like that at all. I was not expecting also to cry that much for Alden. I knew that for me, he was representing the future of our group. I know it since the eighth episode. You know which one I'm talking about. So I knew it, what he was representing for me, because when Enid died, you know, when all of them died, I knew that for me, them that were representing that so after that you know when I was looking at Aden I was always thinking of that like you know what this guy means to you for you is representing the future so for me to have him hurt like that and maybe dying I can't accept it <laughs> so how he was during the last episode what he said about Gage the fact that he wanted to help him but also what he said about him after that like you're not gonna look at him you're feeling guilty about not saving him I respected that because I think that it's how I would have reacted <laughs> also so yes for me Alden is not dead because I don't want it because we didn't see him dying because they made a promise to each other and because I know this show, if they didn't kill him in front of us, it's not it. Maybe Gabriel is gonna find him. Where is Dariel? We didn't see him during this episode. Maybe Dariel is gonna find Alden with Doug. 
Okay, I'm gonna stop this review right now. Tell me what did you think about this episode? If you think that Alden is gonna die or not? I see you. <laughs> And also if Connie is still alive or not? If you believe like me or not? Tell me. Okay, so it's all for you and for me for today. So it's all for me for now. So bye for now. Bye. Wait a minute. Why am I dark? Ah. Are you telling me that you built a time machine? Hey.